Oh, just a quick information. Uh, I believe this this was created by a guy named John Smith because they have it its information still there. And it is using Android 10. So in the operating system. Uh, so this is the Lingling uh, Raspberry Pi 4 Underbug. So the software is, uh, oops, sorry. The software is this one right here. The OS. So just a quick information for you guys. And also, uh, I, I did some kind of cool stuff where, let me, uh, I have a button that is set up to do shutdown, but I couldn't figure out how to trigger there because by pressing it, it doesn't really do shutdown unless you have a mouse and the joystick won't work. So you have to have a mouse that, oops, sorry, pull it the wrong direction to able to click shutdown. You could do a screenshot and you can restart, but you have to use the mouse. Either that or you have to use the keyboard uh, tab key and I can't find that in this uh, button mapping. So if I click tab, then I could trigger down. Once I click the tab key, then I could use the joystick and move it up and down, see? But without the tab key, I can't get there. So I wonder if I could use, you know, escape just I don't think escape would do anything. Okay, and then one thing, another cool things I I uh, I got it done was if if you double click, it rotate your screen. So it rotate in any direction you like. Remember, I was complaining that this was at the bottom. So now I rotate where now I could actually have it set like this now, without the wire following me because uh, I set one of the button to rotate uh, landscape and portion portion so you could you could have it facing this way where this is or you could have it face this way or this way or this way so watch so now it's facing this way and it's back to this way now it's going back to that way so it depends on how you lay this. So if I was to hold it like this and I double click it, oh, okay, it only rotate this way and this way. That's weird. I thought it would rotate all around in a 90 degree. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it rotate this way and now instead of that way, it's rotate the way I want it. Because I thought that I had, before it was rotating like this, but with that rotating button, it now rotated the direction I wanted, which is the cables on top, so it's good. And then I have a back button, so when I play a game, I could, uh, I could actually uh, able to get out the, the arcade game. So if I was to start an arcade, I could actually get out by pressing my button. And so this is a software you want to get that is very useful. Uh, what I did is I I downloaded from, uh, let me get my mouse up. I download using that program. And I, won't, won't, I clicked the wrong thing. Click and pull. There you go. And it's called a, a button mapper. Now, I already removed the apps that uh, helped me uh, install this, but I went, I went and removed as much as I could. And uh, button mapper is the one that I use to, to map this. So when you click on it, you have to go into your app button. And from the app button, you, you you add a button that you wanted to map. So like for example, and I think this one on top, I map two button right here. 
wants to go back, which is the able to uh, set up the RK by going back. Okay, and let me see. That was the last thing I was using. That's why it is pointing to that one. I think I used one of the action, and what I did is I used the wool. I used this one back for that top one, and in this one, I used the one uh, action also. And let me click and scroll up. And down here, I picked the uh, an action. Click. No, it might not be action. It might be uh, in system. Okay, it's in system. So let me click and scroll up. So right here, you say uh, toggle portal and landscape. And this one is auto rotate. So I don't know what's the difference between auto rotate. I think auto rotate might be based on how you lay your screen maybe. Let's try that one see what happens. So if I pick that one uh, for double click. This one I was trying to try to set it up it doesn't work. So if it doesn't work what you do is you could go back to action and then tell it say uh, default meaning that don't do anything with that long press. Set it back to default. Meaning don't do it mean I haven't mean that uh, originally I was trying to set up something but doesn't work so I'm putting it back to default that's about it so here let's see what happened if if I was to last time we couldn't we couldn't have it face this way correct so if I double click now see if it would it would it face the other direction yeah this one is a of, well, maybe I need to get out here first. Okay, and then when you first come in here, this uh, this cus customize right here is turned off. So you want this part to turn on, so that way it will work correctly. But the double rotating, I don't think it work. It it doesn't be sense uh, it doesn't sense how the screen is laid out. No, it doesn't work. So you have to use that other one that I picked while ago, which is uh, you're gonna pick a uh, system, and then down here where you say rotate, uh, you click and scroll up. What happened? It picked something else. Sorry. Okay, so I need to click and drag up and then pick the rotation. Okay, so now that is rotation. So if I was to put my mouse down, if I was to double click here now, yeah, it will rotate. See, and rotate. And we'll take back this way so that's cool that that way I don't have to like you know because whenever it boot up it boot up vertically and that way when I press the button I could rotate it and then the RK one up I'm not RK one up the R pimple RK I could uh, I could get out of that game without have to uh. so that's pretty cool that's, I just want to share that with you and and then the application you just have to go to uh, uh, you could download it from a uh, Google search and you could download that app or you could download the other one I'll put both on the description but you have to transfer the file into the local C drive on the SD card you just put that inside your computer and it's gonna have four partition you just say cancel 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 don't format it then you will see one of the driver for this one Inside you have config dot text and that is a file where I uh, I overclock it to two two thousand. Uh, yeah, instead of fifteen hundred, I did 
this is fit this is a point five so I put it to uh, point two so point one point five megahertz is now two megahertz uh, by overclocking it but I don't really see any different by with the performance it's still about the same uh, with RK one up I mean not RK one up pinball RK Pimple RK still had no changes on the performance and so in the config.txt I'll, I'll put down what I now if you overclock and you damage your your Raspberry Pi it's not my fault just FYI because uh, some system some Raspberry Pi probably cannot be overclocked that much because that is the maximum uh, overclock so if you do it you do it on your own risk okay don't say Johnny told me to do it and I did it and I damaged my Raspberry Pi. Okay, just a warning. Uh, if you if you only playing the Zinc pinball, don't change it. I using the eight gigabyte Raspberry Pi four, eight gigabyte. So this one's a sixty four bit uh, machine. So of course I overclock it, and it doesn't seem to have any problem. And I just realized I was following the ETA Prime uh, about downloading a, a group, uh, a Play Store from Google. But I downloaded the 32 bit, and that's what he have because uh, if you have a Raspberry Pi 4B, 4 gigabyte, that's a 32 bit. And this one is a 64 bit. So I downloaded the wrong one. That's why I was having problems installing Google. Because I was trying to install Android and then inst install Google Play, and so that way I could, uh, I could install the Pimple apps, and I could put it on a bigger SD card because this is only an eight gig SD card. And it's not big enough to to install more software on it, so you could you know play it. So that's the that's the downside about the the eight gigabyte, but. But it, it does have enough space to play the Zen Pinball. But if you add any more to it, then no, no, it won't work. Like if you add the Retro Game or May or Genesis Emulator for Android, it won't work because it don't have space. Alright, that's pretty much a quick uh, overview. Uh, what I did, I did a lot of version of recording, but I think I'll just hold the phone and do this one to give you the information faster without trying to make it perfect. But uh, let me see if I could get out this and show you the app again, the name of the app. So it looked just like this, this icon. So when you go to download it, you, you search for icon look like this and it's called button map mapper and that's what I did I just do a, a Google search and and then what you do is you could just put that software directly into the SD card this one and then the pinball uh, RK as well and then you could just run the software the rest of this software came preloaded and you need those like Lucky Patrick. You need those. You can delete if you delete those. Uh, this pinball RK will not run well. So what you do is turn on the machine and let it let the system run by itself after you set up the network. Let it let it run and it will install everything you need to make this thing run beautifully. I guess and the speed booster. But I don't think this speed booster help the RK pinball it, it, it doesn't but it probably does help the Zen pinball so I just leave those all along the rest of the other stuff I already delete uh, like the ES file browse explore I remove that and I remove the apps that I install to install this and this this two program so I'll give you that link where I got that got that one so you could download directly this one and that one so you only have to put one apps inside the SD card instead of one and two but those two apps this one especially is a real nice app to have so you could actually 
uh, push the button and, and uh, to exit out the game and then push the another button to uh, but the problem is I can't I can't control the joystick unless I press some kind of a uh, key but if I press escape that doesn't do nothing so I have to have I need to figure out how to assign a button where I could do the, the tap and when I tap it then now you could tell this is darker see when well now you could it's darker and then you could use the joystick and then you could say okay I want to shut down you press A and that's how you shut down the the this pinball people was asking like, how do you shut it down and there you go that's how you shut it down and once you shut it down then you could go ahead and feel safe to uh, it would be safer now to turn the Raspberry Pi off now because the system is off alright hopefully this helped and just a quick video just to show you guys how I did it and talk to you later